Today we're going to show you specifying a standing seam metal roof using Sheffield's guide specifications. Welcome to the Standing Seam Metal Roof Design Series here at Sheffield Metals. I'm Lori Venels Morrow, Architectural Project Manager. Today we're going to specify a standing seam metal roof using the Sheffield Tech Stick. I already have it in my laptop and you see it up on the screen. What I want to tell you before we jump in is our guide specs are laid out on the tech stick as, as you will see our products. They are broken out by the profile. Then you will have the choice of the material that you're going to choose, be it either steel or aluminum. Then a layer deeper, they're broken out by the deck assembly. We put a lot of effort into this tech stick and this, the means by which you walk down this path are very intelligent, they're going to save you time, and they're going to teach you along the way. For today's demonstration, I'm choosing the Sheffield uh, 2.0 MS, which stands for Mechanical Seam. So, we're gonna click right on that one. You'll see on the top row, I'm gonna click on the Guide Specifications. And as we said before, we put a lot of time into this. These are um, everything that's relevant to the profile that you're choosing. And I'll explain that a little deeper as we get into this. And again, here are your choices as to the material that you are choosing to for your standing seam metal roof. So steel or aluminum, for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to choose steel. And again, here are the different deck assemblies available for the 2.0 mechanical seam. I'm going to choose plywood. So what this is pulling up now is the 13 or so pages of, the, of our guide specifications for your use. That first page, of course, is our chance to tell you who we are. But it also, if you're not familiar at all with our systems, it will right away guide you as to the minimum slope, the slope relevant to the material that you're choosing. So it kind of helps you right off, right out of the gate um, to get familiar with, is this the one I really wanted to choose? As you move down through that, um, that's just a history of us, who we are, how we go to market. But at the very bottom, you will see specifiers in bold. Within the specification document here, we have specifier notes. These are going to guide you through the process. You are not going to end up choosing testing that isn't relative to the deck and the profile that you've chosen. Everything is built specific for that profile over that deck assembly. And when you start to build a specification, I do suggest that you reveal your notes so that they're all there as you work through the work through the specification itself. So you'll see in that in that very last column to reveal the hidden text that tells you how to do that. You are essentially going to go up to file, choose options, choose display and then click on hidden text. Click OK. And here we go. So remember we've chosen a, a two inch high mechanical seam, standing seam panel in steel over plywood. So as you're walking through, I'm not necessarily going to read each of these notes, but in the blue are the notes. That tells you if you want to keep this, you, you keep it. Otherwise, remove what you don't need. You know, I can tell you, I look at dozens and dozens of specifications every week, and it's amazing the amount of 
irrelevant or actually incorrect data sits within the specification document. So we designed this in a way that we will not let you do that. Now, of course, some might show up if you incorrectly add something. Um, but right now, the way that these are built, the only information that's in here is relative to what you want to see. That's what That was our intention. Um, again, so we're running through, now here is our, we're referencing the um, reference standards. So we're, we're listing all the ASTM that is relevant to that profile over that decking assembly, the UL testings that are relevant for that profile, then getting down into quality assurance. Um, there may be some some items here that you don't need. Again, just just block and hit delete and remove them. And we've addressed everything possible, installer qualifications, um, whether you want that in there or not, that's your call. Here we go into um, items relevant to lead, sustainable design. What do you wanna see for your shop drawings? Okay, so now getting down a little further, you can see the uh, specifier, retain one or more of the following two paragraphs when required for projects with steel. Now we've we've picked we've chosen steel for this. So, if your project is in Florida or Texas, you keep that paragraph. If not, just remove it. It adds relevance to your specifications and it continually reminds you that in building this specification with Sheffield in mind, you have all the relevant data for you and for your client, for anyone that's gonna read your specification. As I mentioned before, in, in each, each of these, we're not going to allow you to pick, to pick one, right, uh, one requirement and yet act, actually have something that's not related to that. So at 1.10 coordination, we have identified in there, remember this is over plywood, so that's what we kept that verbiage and that paragraph relevant for you to keep in there. And some guidance about remember to review the wind uplift tests and the product approvals. Now getting into warranties. This is just a gentle reminder. If you're designing with AZ50 Galvalume, what lines to take out? If you're doing the non-painted Galvalume, which is AZ55, delete these lines, and then what to keep in if you're um, working with aluminum, which we aren't, but we keep that note there for you. And also a phone number. If, if you're at somewhere and you're not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning the project location, would it be this correct substrate warranty? There's the number to call, just call us, that's what we're here for. So essentially, as we read through these, this, this is how it's, it's built what to keep, what to let go. You are going to get into, as you, as you get a little deeper, there will be whole blocks of, of items to remove or keep um, because of aluminum or galvalum. As you get into the actual panel definition, it has a place where we want you to insert the roof slope. Um, we do identify everything in, in inches and in millimeters as appropriate. Getting down into the accessories, remember to keep it. If you're, if you're steel, keep your clips for steel. And if it's aluminum, use the clips for aluminum. So let me just um, do an example. Uh, we'll take something out possibly that's not, not related. Here we have come down to roof accessories and we've got some snow guards. So let's imagine that this project is in um, a part of the, part of the country where uh, snow guards are not required. So we highlight it and then we hit delete and there it's gone. Now for when you are ready to share the document and you no longer want to have um, the specifier notes in there because now maybe it's possibly going out for release, we're going to do the same as we did to reveal the hidden but now we are going to hide the specifier notes. So it's up to file, click options, click display and uncheck the hidden text. So now the hidden text will, will be gone.
And there you have a perfectly clean specification to work off of. If you did that, have the document set up at the beginning to track your changes, um, you can also remember you can um, not, not reveal the markup. So that should bring us back and not, not show where you've deleted lines. And then it's ready to go. Um, and, and save it as a PDF or save it as whatever works in your office, whatever your process is. So that basically does it for our tutorial on the how to start a specification for a Sheffield standing seam roof um, using our guide specifications. We're here, call us anytime. Uh, we'd love to have your feedback on it. You can take items from this, build those into your own office spec. And we would be honored to have you do that as well. But please don't hesitate to call us. Use the guide specification. All the information that we know as the manufacturer, we've put in there relevant again to the profile and to the deck assembly for your project. Thanks so much for listening.